welcome. I'm Michelle Marchant Johnson with Love Life Coaching, and I'm joined today by Kyle Benson from KyleBenson.net. He is an international intimate relationship coach. So welcome, Kyle. Thank you for having me. So happy to have you here. So I'd like to ask you a question that I think is really important, and that is, in your experience, what do you see come up frequently as one block or obstacle that prevents people from getting into and having the partnership that they desire or dream of? Mm, I think a lot of that, I mean, the obstacle, I mean, I go more towards emotions right away, and I would say fear. And that is a fear of if I am myself, if I bring my needs and feelings to this relationship, will I still be loved? Um, and that, that vulnerable of that vulnerability of honoring what you need, honoring what you love, what's important to you, sharing that with your partner is, is that can be scary because when you do that, there is always a possibility of being rejected, right? But it, there's also the other possibility to be really seen, being really loved for that and being really cherished for that. And so I think fear is definitely an obstacle that kind of hijacks people from bringing up important topics as they're dating or, or sharing what they really need when they're dating someone to find someone who's going to be a good fit for them. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. In fact, um, I call it one of the F words mm -hmm. that can foul up your love life. <laughs> That's very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, another question that I have for you is what is one thing for people that do desire a partnership relationship? What is one thing they can begin to do right now that can help move them in that direction? They can begin doing that can move them in that direction. Kind of the flip side of the coin here. Yeah, I think the, the the very first thing is to honor what they need and need in a relationship, really honoring that and being able to express that to the people they date in a very vulnerable and kind way, right? Of, I really need us to spend time together or I need I need to talk to you every, every day and, and know like what's going on in your world and what and share what's going on in my world. That's really important to me because it helps me feel connected to you. Um, so that takes one, understanding what you need um, understanding the feelings you have behind that, but then also sharing that in a very soft and gentle way that makes it much easier for the person you're dating to understand what would make a relationship work for you. Mm -hmm. And then you get that opportunity to see how they respond and if they're able to respond and if that's something they're able to provide and give in the context of a relationship, right? Absolutely. Because if, if they are responding and they're honoring your needs, they're able to meet you, that's going to be a lot easier for you too, to honor both your needs, put them on par with each other and start to build some trust in the relationship. Um, and that also makes it safer for you to be much more emotionally intimate, much more emotionally connected um, and work together to develop a relationship that's meaningful to both of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing those thoughts, Kyle. I think they're really, really important. And I want to invite all of you that are listening to click on the link below this video to join us for the full series. And you'll hear Kyle's full interview on how to create emotional intimacy and how to recognize emotionally unavailable partners so that you can have a happy, healthy relationship. We had a really fascinating conversation and discussion, and I really want you to hear it. So be sure to click on the link below to join us. And Kyle, thank you so much for your sharing and your wisdom. Thank you for having me. Bye for now.